broadcasting live from Wolf Out Studios in Wisconsin. It's the last show on earth <coughs> with Nate Chapel. Tonight we're all ill it as we accidentally welcome a virus into the studio, but now the man who's as charming as he is contagious, the last show on earth. Nate <coughs> Nate Chapel Giant Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode Whisper of the quietest show on the internet, the last show on Earth. Now, just to address the elephant in the room, hey, Dumbo, nice ears. I don't know, sorry, guys, I'm on a lot of cough meds. Anyway, you might notice that I've got a microphone in front of my face, and that's because it hurts my throat to project like my speech therapist recommends and my... Well, actual therapist recommends against. Oh, that's better. That's right. You're finally right. You're all right, including my therapist. I am sick. The whole crew is sick, actually. But the show must go on. It it works out, though, that we're... Even Verge is sick. It works out that we're doing episode Whisper. I'm glad we didn't go with episode Whale. I'm terrified of whales, and then I'd really be yelling. But just because I'm talking all quiet, I don't want anyone to think that we're doing like an ASMR episode or anything. You know, this is just how I whisper, okay? Oh, hey, it looks like we got a tweet coming in. Johnny, can we bring that up on the screen? Okay, the tweeter asks, can you explain what ASMR is? Oh, sure, that's a good question. ASMR is an acronym for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response which is a sensation that some people experience in response to certain types of sounds and noises. It usually starts apparently as a tingling sensation on the listener's scalp and then moves slowly down into the neck and shoulders. So there are all sorts of these videos out there for people who experience this feeling, you know. And usually it'll have somebody speaking calmly and quietly and usually very close to a microphone, often explaining something in a lot of detail. Oh, we got another tweet, uh, Johnny. This tweeter asks, can you say all of that again, but slower and closer to the microphone? Oh, okay. Is, is the mic not picking? Okay. Um, ASMR is an acronym for autonomous sensory. You know, actually, you can just look it up. Um, it's, it's not all about the voice for everybody either, just so you guys know. Sometimes people like to hear like a role play scenario, like where you're, I don't know, getting your hair cut or something. Oh, another tweet. Johnny? Oh, what does getting a haircut sound like? Oh, okay. You know, like, uh, let's see. You know, I'm just going to take a little off the top here and just trim up around your ears a little bit here. Hey, hey, wait a second here. I might be hopped up on Alka-Seltzer, but I know when I'm being scammed, okay? Uh at asmarfan1 and i don't cut anybody's hair for free okay nice try you know they always say that uh asmr isn't sexual but i say since none of us would exist without sex isn't everything sexual think about it don't man i really gave into this illness i i used to really fight it like in my younger dumber days um, as soon as I felt like I was getting sick, I would drink some whiskey while my white blood cells were drinking N.A. Heineken's all night. And then when the virus was good and lit, uh, like lit in the old way, not, not the new way, I guess, the white blood cells anyway would jump him and then beat the hell out of him. I don't remember if it worked or not. But now I just give in. It's like, sure, I'll lay down. I like tea pretty well anyways, I guess. Sometimes, don't you look at bears with their hibernation and think, yeah, okay, that seems right. That's basically what this illness has been, you know, just a viral hibernation. Speaking of bears, actually, am I the only one who is inappropriately comforted by the term pandemic? Like, kind of sounds cute, right? It's like one step shy of baby bunny apocalypse. Pandas? I mean, make it a grosser animal like 
like an opossemic. Uh, I can feel appropriately repulsed by that. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got plenty more coming up for you to be appropriately repulsed by. Um, we've got a silent movie right after the break, and later on we've got a special guest, the influenza virus. But first, pop the tab on that carnation and some breakfast, because it's time for your morning after nature. I'm security guard Carl Lewis with today's morning Afrom Nation. I am talking. 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 Or am I? Go get him, tiger. chapel and this is my week. On Saturday I attended the Women's March on Madison, bravely going out into the world that basically was created for me by people like me to stand up for the majority of people who that isn't the case for. Turns out this lady march was co-ed so I like totally wasted my whole Friday making these disguises. I found the march to be very rewarding although I was disappointed there wasn't more shopping. I'm very against protest signs for eye safety reasons, but couldn't figure out the appropriate way to express my position. Later on Saturday, not much for marching, what with her hips and all, my cat Virginia protested in her own way, and I know what you're thinking, and yes, I did catch cat scratch infection. That's my week in review. I'm sorry about the mic thing. I'm Nate Chaffel saying my week was better than your week. Jump, buddy.
inimigos. back to the guest segment, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we rather accidentally welcomed into the studio <coughs> the very virus that plagues us. He's no fun. He's H1N1, ladies and gentlemen. The flu. Yes, yes, Nate, thanks for having me on. And in, you know, your nose where I implanted in your mucous membranes. Sure, no problem, I guess. Yes, also, if you don't mind, I go by influenza. Flu has negative connotations. Yeah, I would imagine it would, what with all the snot and vomit and stuff. Yes, it's a real branding issue. Is influenza really any better? Well, most people lose interest by the second syllable of most words. They think it just sounds exotic. It does kind of. Influenza. 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 Anyway, let's talk about you. What do you like? Oh, you know, the normal stuff. Infect people, hijack immune systems, curl up with a good pile of mucus. Oh, and uh, I've been catching up on Gilmore Girls. Great. Let's talk about what you don't like. Hmm, well, uh, mean people, commercials, proper hydration... Uh, let's see, the way Dean treats Rory. Oh, what are you... That's oh, it, no. proper hydration. Oh, no, no, I'm melting. I'm melting. Yeah, that's an easy way to remember this, guys, to stay hydrated is when you're feeling under the weather, you have to remember to keep your guts wetter. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling a hell of a lot better. Want to play a game of tissue toss, Johnny? We got our trash can. We got some tissues that we're gonna throw into it. Um, yeah, yeah, here they are. Yeah, where's my uh, some brand? Where's the remote? Oh, it's in my pocket, guys. It's in his pocket. Okay, here we go. It's a tissue toss. So what we're gonna do is. We're gonna set this here. See all these tissues in here? We're each gonna throw five from the chair, from the sick chair. And we're gonna, you know, we're, we're sick, so we're really gonna play that up. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Johnny, you ready? I'm ready. To cheer me out, I guess, to be amazed. Okay. Shoot. This one's kind of yellow. 
or five. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last show on earth. I want to thank Influenza for being a guest tonight. Influenza, hope you burn in hell. As always, a uh, huge thanks to the biggest, rudest crew to Johnny Fisher and Viv Chapel. Finn Hammond and Tyler Ensgrove made the music for tonight's show. Look for Tyler on SoundCloud and look for Finn standing behind the dinosaur in that uh, magic eye poster at your brother's house. Finally, a big thanks to the woman upstairs. I said woman for not making too much noise while we recorded this. For more of this show, go to thelastshowonearth.org. Our podcast uh, that we have is called The Nate Cast. You know, like it's named after me. Look, listen for that at iTunes. We are a proud production of Wolf Out TV, so look for us on the internet. We are Wolf Out TV. Whoa, big deal, guys. Next week, um, I'm going to be feeling better, and we've got a big band called Seesaw. Not like a big band, but a band. Just, they're a good band. Don't embarrass me, okay? Thanks for watching tonight, and please trust that we're watching you, too. Stay warm, be cool, be excellent to each other. Zoom tight, and of course, happy winter days. Bye-bye. I think we're going to make it after all, guys. forget thanks for watching also we're watching you also um uh if you're feeling everybody want to say it with me if you're feeling under the weather you gotta remember to keep your guts wetter yeah just like the old saying goes just remember that guys um 
we are definitely, I feel like we're like kind of an educational source as well as, or maybe instead of an entertainment source. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, that's enough for me. I gotta go lay down and have a fever dream, watch Willow, maybe. It's really gonna freak me out. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, okay, love you. Bye. Good night. And good nachos. <laughs>